Hey, what's up, Diamond Gang? You already know who this is. This is Madam, and I'm coming back to you again. This time, we're going to travel over to the Rolling Stones and the Celebrities column. And this is about the hot girl herself, Megan Thee Stallion. She claims that the MF label boss used rules to lock her into a contract and new suit. Yes, she is suing them again. All right. It starts off by saying something for the hotties rapper Megan Thee Stallion got in a heated war of words Tuesday with the Houston record label. She sued yet again Friday with new allegations. It's putting an unlawful stunt to chain. It's pulling the unlawful stunt to chain her to a contract she considers unconscionable. In a series of comments on social media, the rapper blasted 1501 Entertainment boss Carl Crawford after he took to Instagram Tuesday morning to tout the dismissal of an older legal beef with the rapper, but failed to mention her Friday complaint filed in Texas State Court. Ooh, we. When I tell you, homegirl was on it, she was on it you hear me she was like let me out <laughs> you feel me anyway it says that the new lawsuit obtained by rolling stone alleges that 1501 is now trying to uh recategorize megan's 45 minutes something for the hotties release last october as something less than an album so it doesn't count against her contract quota with the label 1501's new position taken months after the album's release is clearly a ruse and an effort to try to take further advantage of megan at great extents uh excuse me expense and not in a good faith her new lawsuit states crawford's failure to mention the new legal action when he gloated about the old development in the legal war was too much for Megan to ignore as she should <laughs> you still getting sued because you owe me money I ain't never been paid from 1501 in my life she wrote in a lengthy response on Tuesday you know it goes on to say this mf -er got my accomplishments in the bio and ain't contributed to ish since 2018. No studio time, not a music video, not a word of encouragement, ish, not even a flight. But you trying to eat off me and pick me with me online. She wrote in another uh, post. Crawford and his lawyer, Stephen M. Zagger, did not immediately return Rolling Stone's uh, request for comment. Standard. <laughs> In the new lawsuit, Megan claims that the only uh, requirement list for an album under the 2018 contract was that it be not less than 45 minutes in length. She further claims something for the hotties has a runtime of 45 minutes and two seconds. So it more than qualifies with its mix of new tracks recorded in 2021 and previously unreleased tracks and skits. In every respect, Something for the Hotties constitutes as an album and met her minimum recording commitment for the 1501's second option. Uh, period under the contract the lawsuit states in a section of the lawsuit titled 1501's unlawful attempt to chain Megan down to 1501 for additional albums the filing alleges that 1501 sent a letter out of the blue on January 5th 2022 asserting that the album did not constitute an album under the party's agreement. It adds, given that 1501 waited more than two months 
at the Megan's release of the album Something for the Hotties to take this position. It is clear that its position is frivolous and has no basis in law or fact. Oof. So dirty with it. 1501 wants to tie Megan down to release more albums under the contract to the financial benefit of 1501, the lawsuit states. This is an uh, inconsistent. This is inconsistent with the contract terms, which are clear and unambiguous. According to Megan, seeks a uh, declaratory judgment that, along other things, declares that her album "Something for the Hotties" constitutes as an album. Uh, the term of the contract, you know, under the contract terms, you know, and uh, man, this is crazy. Like, but I'm gonna I'm gonna reserve my opinion to the end, as I always do. In a video posted to Instagram in early 2020, the rapper said that her subsequent affiliation with Rock Nation helped her understand how one side her original deal was with 1501. The rapper claimed that 1501 Entertainment awarded itself 60% of her recording income, 30% of her touring income, and 30% of the money she made off of merchandise. God, man. Jeez. Uh, uh, Megan resonated her deal, uh, excuse me, renegotiated her deal. With 1501 last year after she sued in 2020 and won a restraining order against 1501 and Crawford that barred them from preventing the release of her music. More from Rolling Stone. Okay. And I mean, it's pretty much to be continued, basically. Um, it's like a lot of stuff that's going on. I mean, at this point, you know. I mean, she's put out so many projects, you know, and stuff, collaborations, uh, and stuff like that. I mean, how could it not constitute as, you know, an album, you know, it's just like at this point, like, you know what I mean? You want her to do the work, but, you know, have you reached out, you know, like she said, for encouragement or anything, promotion, anything. I mean, like, she's basically, you know, doing it with her own, st- with her own steam and, you know, just for a person to be like, oh, well, you know, I mean, well, that's not good enough, you know? You're going to have to do one more or two more. So, I mean, like, allegedly, the thought would be, like, Anything that she puts out to even try to honor the contract would be considered less than an album. Um, Like, that's just crazy at this point. You know, I mean, you're still trying to hold on. (laughs) You feel me? Like, I just, I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's it's a lot of moving parts to this thing. Um, Clearly, it's been going on for a while, so... I mean, we just got to wait and see how all this plays out. I'm pretty sure the court system will determine, uh, you know, if it constitutes as an album or not. Uh, That's why they have these legal uh, things in place. So uh, when two parties can't agree, you have that middle person to be like, hey, either it is or it ain't. But either way, you know, her star is, is rising, and I think that, you know, um, who wouldn't, who wouldn't, you know, honestly want to be a part of that, you know, who wouldn't want to, you know, um, allegedly ride the coattails, you know, um, but had you would have did it right, you know, allegedly, allegedly, uh, she would be with you, rocking with you, and not with Rock Nation or whatever. So it is what it is. I mean, you know, it's just a hold up at this point, you know. But I have no doubt that she's going to continue to do her thing as she always does. And um, 
it's gonna be what it's gonna be. We're gonna see what it's gonna uh do out here, you know. But uh now is the time for you, the diamond game, to drop down in the comments. Let me know what's going on, how y'all feel about this. Do y'all even care for real? Are you a Megan the Stallion fan? Um, anytime I do these uh stories about celebrities. Whatever genre they choose to be in, I try to keep an unbiased tone, um, regardless if I like their music or not, uh, the way they present themselves or not. I just think that it's fair, you know, you just give an unbiased opinion, and that's what I try to do in every video. And as always, everything is alleged. But let's get the conversation going in the comments section. And uh, with that being said, you guys, I'll get with you in the next video.